Masama Tezuka, the, the, the godfather of manga, the, the master of anime. Uh, we have here with us Ms. Haruko Nagawa, who uh, is here from Japan and uh, worked closely with uh, Tezuka. Uh, would you like to just give a, a brief introduction of what she did with Tezuka? Uh, I was involved with uh, some Tizuka's uh, general operation in the publishing portion. And, uh, and specifically with a magazine called COM. Um, usually it was the COM was pronounced COM. And the meaning of the name was uh, communication, companionship, and uh, communication and companionship comment. And I was in charge of a book called Hinotori within that. Um, Hinotori, a uh, single translation is Phoenix, uh, it's currently been released up to volume 8, I believe. And uh, there was also a, an anime movie that was released uh, in the late 80s uh, in America as well. Uh, that's about the extent of what I was going to say for my introduction. Does anybody have any questions you'd like to ask? Hi. Hi. Hello. Did Tezuka Sensei ever express regret that he never practiced medicine and that he went into manga and became a mangaka instead of a doctor? I'm not sure that I'm not sure that uh, disappointment or uh, regret would be the right way to, to say to express it. What the what my understanding is that he made a choice between faced with he had medicine or he had manga, he actively chose manga. The uh, background on that, for people who are less familiar with Tezuka's life, is that uh, Tezuka uh, studied medicine for a number of years before becoming a manga author, and many of his stories involve doctors, uh, most notably Black Jack, which is uh, one of the, the most famous and is also another one that's fairly available in America. Mm -hmm. Um, do you want me to explain about Black 
say anything about the lactate? Um, if you want, we can take care of that first. If you want to. Oh, she. Does she go? Does she? I'm a slave. I'm gonna do it for you. Okay. Just, uh, black jack and the story of starting the え、and uh, but we found that the characters that appeared in Black Jack, many of the characters that appeared in Black Jack, it was sort of a fountainhead because they went on and became their own manga. So what was the relationship between the manga production and the anime television show production and film production? Uh, was, it, was it all very related or were they all very separate? Uh, ま、そのスクープ、そしてテレビ番組の作った そして作画をえ、最初きと言っ Certainly all of the manga were his work alone. He thought of them, he drew them. When it comes to the, you know, particularly the, the animation part of it, that's not a job you can do yourself. So while the ideas were his, he had to have separate people uh, in terms of drawing the exact scripts up, uh, people that would, you know, create the animation itself, color the animation, uh, and all of those jobs, it just is not something that a single person could possibly do. So they were a group efforts, but they were all based on his own. And if he had been capable physically of doing it all himself, I believe that he would have. Uh, Kaneko-san, you have a favorite manga he worked on? I think that's a really difficult question to ask, so much so that I, as, despite my relationship with him, I don't know how to answer that. Was Tezuka personable, or was he very driven towards his work? Like, did he have a good sense of humor, or was he very strict, or was he very demanding? Oh, or... Tezuka was very strict, or was he very
Um, he was very laid back sort of person. He did not really, unlike most of the Japanese society, he did not distinguish so much between higher level and lower level, and he would use pretty regular speech with me rather than the kind of speech that was normal for a, a superior company used to the people that they, the lower ranking people.